Well, good morning, Nomad Bike Rider. It's time for a video bomb drop here. Just made the one last night, put it up there, and uh, just some ramblings from Lake Superior. And this morning I woke up, and I'm just thinking about that and about you, and I thought, you know, I'm feeling stuck here. It's been a few days since I've been out on the on the road and in general to expose the van to the general public. I, I feel like I need to do that as much as possible because I'm getting paid for it. So what we're going to do today, we're going to go up the shoreline towards Grand Marais, or Marais, however you say it, and see what we can find. There's a bunch of waterfalls and state parks and, and whatnot, and uh, maybe I'll even pull over in a nice spot and attempt to shoot video number one in a series that I want to call My Van. And what I'll do in that is I'll, um, I'm going to start with the outside and explain the wrap, especially since that's probably not going to be on much past the end of the year. So I, I at least want to explain what you've been looking at all this time, the nose art and the concept behind it anyway, and then go into things like the shower and the solar system, and things of that nature. So that's pretty much it. I'm in the parking spot here at, at my buddy Josh's house. And so what we're going to do is we're going to roll on out of here and head north along the great shoreline of Lake Superior. So stay tuned, let's go see what we can find. This is your work. This is my work. Right. Cool. Well, come over here. All right. So, okay. let, let's do a shot together. All right. All right. <laughs> so, as I stated earlier, I made a little intro clip saying oh, that I was going to go out in the world and see what we find. Okay. And this is what we found. We found Nina. What we found Nita. 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 Sorry. I'm sorry. That's all right. So, uh, Nita was out measuring the lot next door because she's looking at maybe getting that place right. but uh let's I, I don't want to tell her story i want you to tell your story so real quick i'll just ask you a couple questions okay. and um so this how long this is your work tell well what this is my work. so what is it about your work that you want that you would like to say you know what um i think people respond to experiences that they have and i grew up here so i was in the woods all the time so it's in my memory so and people come here and they buy their memory of being here number one reason interesting to, to buy our would, would you ever do something that somebody dictated to you like said could you paint yes. me a scene like this? so you do some custom I do stuff that. I do custom stuff interesting I do everything. no kidding Let me know what you want I can cook hot dogs I can do <laughs> how I can build a fire how did you learn how to do such amazing artwork like this I used to work with city kids Minneapolis street kids and homeless and all that and one day I had a, a message I was getting too old to chase kids down the street so it was like I was 47 and a message kind of happened that said this is what I want you to do now so and it was about art and I said yeah right because I never pursued art so you learned how to do this at 47 years old yeah no kidding yeah, and, um, so it was like, so I started to paint and I went to a class and I couldn't do anything anybody was saying. So I went home and kept painting. No kidding. And here it is. What is your, can, do you have a favorite piece at the moment that's in the shop here? I mean, it would be hard to say something favorite, but. I do, but I can't place it right now because I'm almost 80. <laughs> It took me a while to find. This is our high school band from here. From that, oh, that's from Lake. here. This is the high school band. Is, and it's in 1960. Oh, in 1960. Yeah. Four years before I was born, Nita. Oh, well, um, okay, <laughs> but you know, life goes on after. It does, it does. Yeah, it does. What is something that... And here comes Al. you got to get a picture. Oh, we got to get... Al's coming in. All right, Al, we're... Al's one of our <laughs> angels that's helped us get by in life. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. So, what is it that makes Al an angel, and what, in specifically? He's just a guy of all skills and stuff, you know. All right, say hi, Al. Hi. <laughs> I'm okay, Kevin. That's, that's enough. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, Nita, I want to ask you a question. Um, 
out of, out of all this vast life experience with the kids in Minneapolis and the art here, growing up in, you know, a place like Grand Marais. Did I say it right, by the way? Yeah. Grand Marais. Yeah. And, um, you know, through your life's experience, what it, what is it that you would wish more people knew? It's true for you about life. To, oh, to stay open, you know. And you, you'll keep learning. Stay open to ideas, to people, to... Um, I, most everything, most people are good people, you know. And, and I think when you're looking for that, you find that. Um, be open. I think that's a big lesson is don't be closed-minded. Listen. Listen to people. Wow. You know. I mean, really. I'm serious. No, I, I know yeah. you are. <laughs> and then I have the God factor that I believe in too, so. Okay. So that's important to me. So when somebody says, you hear this thing that says, I want you to paint now, you go, pay attention. And so right. and that, and actually we got two of us, high school friends, bought this building. We were at a 30th class reunion up here and um, I was walking down the street with a group of people and I said, this, I'd been watching the tax rolls and what was delinquent ah. for about three years. So I said, one of these days, this building is going to be on the market. But it was so trashed. It's amazing. But anyway, so I said to this group of people, I was walking down the street with this, anybody want to buy that building with me? And this one character back there that I graduated with. So, so you're the you're the co-conspirator. <laughs> said, uh, said, I will. And now, I, we went to school and graduated together, but we did, we weren't, you know, same people, friends, whatever. Because uh -huh. we went, everybody went different ways after graduation. So uh, we connected at the 30th class reunion and offered $500 down, got the building, and then went to work. Wow. And, and this so, is the result. So we did a lot of dumpster diving and ditch. We were in ditches finding two by fours and whatever we could find to put this place together. There weren't any new windows. Listen, you no just, kidding. You could do so much with very little if you set, if you think about it, set your mind to it. Have a goal. That's good. Mm -hmm. Have a goal. Well, but show me, a, show me, show us around really quick before we go. All right. Um, this is more of mine. This is more of more Nita's work here. I that's, love that. That, that is was, really cool. That's an Anoka that still exists. And I was visiting my mother a couple years ago and I had time. You know, she's 101 now. And so, You're kidding. No, and she lives in Coon Rapids, so Anoka is right next door. And I okay. like to paint older things. Uh, Anoka is the name of the town. Yeah. So okay. I like to paint older things because I don't want to lose our memories of mom and pop mm -hmm. grocery stores and old things like that so anyway that's what and here's another one Minneapolis, with the mom and pop grocery store that is awesome isn't that fun yeah and so i just do i saw something around the corner that caught my eye i want to ask you about it's up here in the front it's this guy um i, I was a surfer for 30 years oh yeah so who did that Jane, her name is Jane, Jane Richards, and she did that, and she's part of us, right, this year, or whatever. Um, and so she's new to us this year. We keep changing, so this is her section. This is what we do. This is how we've gotten by, is we've rented sections. Oh, so, you, so, so somebody rents this section from you to sell yeah, on, so sort of 30, like, an, almost like consignment. Yeah, for 30 years, we live for free, because... If you think a lot, you can get it together mm -hmm. and have very little money, you can make it work. And yeah. only off summers, too. Yeah, and only on summers, so we only rent for six months, and then we they can leave their stuff here. But And this is Mike, and he's new this year to us. So Mike's a ceramics guy, huh? He is, yeah, or whatever, whatever you call us. <laughs> we won't tell Mike that we don't really know what it and is, then, <laughs> but it's, it's lovely. And then we've got some Canadian artists. Wow. A retired fire, firefighter from Thunder Bay did this one. And, um, but they can't come across now. Right, that's right. The yeah, the border's been closed for a while. So we lost three Canadian artists last year. Too bad. So, um, so every time there's a gap, now I, I paint something and fill it in. 
So well, I make, I'm getting filthy rich. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm glad that we have permission based on this sign here that we yeah. have your blessing. <laughs> you know what? You know why I put that up? It's got a college age kids come in and take pictures and then they go home and they print them off. Oh, you're kidding. Free art. It's like, that's not ethical. If they ask, anybody can take a picture of anything. If they ask, that's all they have to do. Yeah, just courtesy. So, that's right important. on. That's important. Which, by the way, I. I asked her if she would do this video and yeah but you're likable so. and she, you know, you <laughs> but might, she's doing a great job you too might have, you might have gotten by with <laughs> nice but anyway this is our latest okay and this is a woman in Minneapolis that's been fighting cancer for a lot of years so I said paint me some pictures of puppies and dogs and kittens Wow. And we'll give part of it to the cancer funding of whatever. And those are 30 bucks each? I know. Aren't they cute? Look at They're that. They're really neat. Yeah, that is cool. Isn't that? Well, I laughed so hard when I got these. So for every five paintings she sends me, I'll send her $100. You know. And okay. Just, we'll work together. Nice. But, so anyway, that's kind of what we're about. We, we set up to help other people get their art out to the public. And this place so, is pretty busy in the summer, isn't it? Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, I see the line of traffic already starting the to fill in. Shops. Oh, yep. Yeah, you know, it's it's coming down the hill, and that that construction's not going to yeah. deter them at all, is it? No, no. No. Last year was our busiest year in thirty, and I think this year will be equal. Yep. Yep. Well, it's Fourth of July weekend, so get ready to batten down the hatches. Hey, you got all this light life in your eyes you know? <laughs> well you're you know very that? sweet you're very oh, lovely yeah that's important but this video is about you nita and uh okay, so me, so we're gonna go ahead and just say goodbye for now because i'm getting pretty choked up <laughs> <laughs> really yeah I, i'm an emotional soul so oh, that's anyway that's so one last parting shot if you'd like to say or uh, maybe you're all talked out no, you, you tell just, me just live life you know it's it's wonderful. You hear that, everybody? Live yeah, life. Yeah. You got you. You got a parting shot for anybody? Yeah. Bye. <laughs> live life. Live. No. So, so the consensus is we're gonna live our lives, right? Oh, yep. Live life. Yeah. Well, thank you, Nita, and and thanks to everybody. Uh, you know, you're just lovely people. What an amazing experience. It's wonderful. Yep. <laughs> and I, all right. I guess you could probably uh, take my word for it that I'm living my life. You are. I am. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I, I, I just asked you if you needed help holding the end of a tape measure, and this is what resulted. I know. A friendship. Fr friendship, friendship forever. Yep. Yeah, I think so, too. You take care. Wow. <laughs> See you in a bit. <laughs> All right. Bye. Well, that was awesome, wasn't it? What a treat Nita was, and what a special experience it is to get to meet people like that and bring you along for the journey. It was such a great experience that I thought I had to bring you to a really special place like this to wrap this thing up. Um, I'm just going to let the words that she said speak for themselves. You know, live your life. Be open. People are generally good if you're looking for that. Uh, this is kind of a summary of my van life. Uh, my life in general. Especially as I gain traction with functioning naturally in the way that I was designed to do. The way that I'm wired for so I hope you enjoyed it I hope you're having a great day man I I just can't wait to see what's next because we always know based on what we're doing together there's gonna be something we're gonna have some we're gonna have something special to share with each other down the road of life have a good day I'll see you the next time